Hello my fellow nutters. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install and play Tomb Raider custom levels. They are also called TRLE, which stands for Tomb Raider Level Editor. So what is a TRLE? Well, it came with a PC version of Tomb Raider Chronicles, and fortunately enough for you guys, I have the box right here. Okay, so this is what the front of the box looks like. And let's flip it over to the back. And as you can see here, if we zoom in with my epic camera, oh, look at that, come on, focus. Create your own adventures with the Tomb Raider level editor, including a tutorial plus all the tools required to construct your own levels. So yeah, these are fan-made levels that uh, people make. Now to answer an important question that gets asked quite often. Do you need the base game of Tomb Raider to play custom levels? The answer is no, they are completely free. And what's great is there are thousands to choose from. There are two main websites that host these Tomb Raider custom levels, tierly.net and the more recent trcustoms.org. For this guide, I'm going to take you through TR Customs. However, do check TRLE.net as well, because there could be levels on there that are not on TR Customs, and vice versa. So, this is the home page. We want to go to Levels at the top, then head over to the search filter. These are the options you can sort it by. If you already know the level you want to play, type the name in the search field and then press enter. Uh, you can also sort these levels by their genre, the engine, their rating, their duration and by difficulty. I would recommend sorting it by the best rated first, then by the engine. Tomb Raider 1 to Tomb Raider Chronicles is quite self-explanatory. Uh, they are engines for their respective games. Whereas 10, which stands for Tomb Engine, is the most recent Tomb Raider engine they used to build levels with. And this comes with all kinds of new features. For this example, I'm going to choose Saboteur's Tomb Raider. Here you can see what the level looks like, more information about it, and the reviews at the bottom. To play it, click on the download. Now, this is very important. For some custom levels, you might get a message saying that the file is considered dangerous by your antivirus. This is a false positive, it is completely fine. Just make sure to add the exe or the folder to your exceptions list in your antivirus program. What I like to do for Windows 10 is create a folder for my custom levels. Search for Windows Security, go to Virus and Threat Protection, Manage settings, scroll down to add or remove exclusions, then I'll add an exclusion for my custom level folder. This is where I extract all of my custom levels to. Okay, so once the folder is extracted, click on the exe and the level will begin to launch. If you do get this message, just click more info and run it anyway. Before you do start your adventure, head over to the sunglasses to configure your controls. There are options for both keyboard and controller, so choose whatever you prefer. Now, not every TRLE will come with controller support, so you will need to download a third party program. I do recommend Anti-Micro for most controllers. If you use a PS4 controller on the other hand, I would go with DS4 Windows, mostly for the touchpad support. From there, you can bind the keyboard inputs to your controller buttons. Links to download these programs will be in the description. It's time for everyone's favorite section, troubleshooting, yay. The most general advice I can give is to check the custom levels folder for a readme file or for anything that might help you, like a specific fix or something. I have also encountered some bullshit with Chrome where I couldn't even download the level. What was the easiest fix for this? 
using another browser. Yeah. If you do find you can't launch it for some reason, check your task manager by pressing Control, Alt and Delete to see if the game is hanging in the processes. Then just right click and end the task. If you want to get your game working in windowed mode, try pressing Alt and Enter. If that's not working for Tomb Raider 1 and 2, I would download windowed boardless gaming. I used it back in the day when I was playing Tomb Raider 1 on Windows 7. And I even wrote a guide for it, so feel free to pause the video. If you're having problems with running Tomb Raider 2 in windowed mode, first check to see if there's a setup batch file. If there isn't one, create a shortcut of Tomb 2. And then go to properties. At the end of target, press space and then dash setup. Double click the shortcut and you can choose from full screen, windowed mode and then either 4x3 or widescreen. Click OK, then go to Tomb 2 to launch the game. How to play older Tomb Raider 3 levels in windowed mode? I recommend DXWND. You can find this on SourceForge. Uh, download the file, extract it, open the folder with the name fx1build. Go to DXWND and launch the program. Open your Tomb Raider 3 custom level folder, then drag the Tomb 3 over DXWND. Give it a name, choose your desired resolution, press OK, launch Tomb 3, then go to the sunglasses, and select the same resolution. For Tomb Raider 4 levels, you might see a little box appear just before you get into the main menu. This is where you have to press the control key to enter the setup. There you can change the resolution and play it in windowed mode. If that's not working, you probably need to download DG Voodoo 2. After downloading it, extract the folder, then go to your MS folder, open x86 and copy everything here into your TRLE directory. Then you gotta launch DG Voodoo CPL. Add to the folder path of the TRLE, go to the DirectX tab and select the resolution that you want. Make sure to take off the DG Voodoo watermark, then go to the setup in your custom level folder. DG Voodoo should be showing in the output settings. Choose the same resolution and click OK. Then launch the game and everything should be in working order. I have probably missed a few things but that's all I can think of for now. If you guys need help with anything or if you have found a fix for a problem yourself make sure to leave a comment. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.